Hi, my name is Howard Lake and I live and work in Colchester in England. I'd like to tell you about the first time that I realised the impact that global working could have on the charity non-profit sector. I've worked in charity fundraising for the last 24 years and about 20 years ago I was working for Amnesty International in London. They'd just introduced email into the office, networking desks and people together. Most people didn't know much about email, but I had a few ideas of what we could do with it. So I persuaded the IT team to let me set up an email discussion list. Very basic technology, but what I wanted to do was to allow fundraisers in Amnesty offices around the world to communicate with each other. We did this very quickly. I set it up and ran it, and it had a very quick impact. In the past, fundraisers only had met other fundraisers at Amnesty offices when they came, when they flew around the world or came to international conferences, a quite expensive process. Now, we had dozens of fundraisers in offices around the world connected up via email. They could ask questions, they could answer questions. We could share documents and share ideas and inspiration all almost instantaneously and all without having actually met in person. Today, in the day of Facebook and YouTube and Twitter, that's obvious. It's just a given for very many people. In those days, nearly 20 years ago, it wasn't. Indeed, the email discussion list for fundraisers was so popular and proved so effective in terms of cost savings and inspiration and sharing practical fundraising advice that another colleague set up an identical version for Spanish language fundraisers and I believe it's gone on to do other things as well since then. So one very small idea had a very quick and very big impact and that inspired me to set up more tools and to take it further. I then set up an email discussion list for fundraisers at charities throughout the UK, so a nationwide email discussion list. That, needless to say, attracted fundraisers from around the world. So the whole concept of global networking, global working, sharing advice, often with people who might be considered your competitors, was taking off then in the mid-90s. I was watching from it, enjoying it and learning from it, all using this wonderful simple technology of email. At the same time, I set up a website to share this advice, this information and to share resources for fundraisers. And I took the same global approach. I wanted anyone fundraiser, fundraising consultant, journalist, politician, anyone with practical, useful advice for fundraisers to share that advice via the website. And indeed, in the 17 years since I set up the very first website for charity non-profit fundraisers, the site has gone on to serve tens of thousands of fundraisers around the world. So I hope that my experience 18, 19 years ago with just very basic technology and a very simple idea, but focusing on global reach and global impact, will give inspiration to you to in, try out your ideas in your organisation to make the biggest impact it can.